Oh, oh my God. Who's got beef? Who's smashing who? Smashing. Hey, this is Hip Hop News. It's time. Right, 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 right now. Yeah. Gossip. Yeah. 411. Yeah. And all the latest tabloid bullshit. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. I got that juice. juice. No AP. She got it, juice. I got your juicy entertainment news for Thursday. R. Kelly will not be taking the stand to testify in his sex trafficking trial, meaning he's going to avoid the risk of, poten- of a potentially brutal cross-examination. You know they were ready for that. Um, now, the defense case has relied on a handful of former R. Kelly employees and other associates who agreed to take the stand to try to discredit the allegations that he sexually abused women, girls, and boys over a 30-year uh, period during his uh, highlight of his musical career. Most of the defense witnesses said that they never saw R. Kelly abuse anyone. One went as far to say that he was chivalrous to his girlfriends. Another admitted that he owed R. Kelly for his break in the music business and wanted to see him beat the case. Um, Now, prosecution, however, the prosecution side have called dozens of witnesses since the trial began in federal court in Brooklyn on August 18th, including several females and two male accusers to back up the allegations that R. Kelly used used a crew of managers, bodyguards, and assistants to systematically recruit potential victims at his shows, uh, in malls, and fast food restaurants where he hung out. I think I remember him saying he used to be hanging out in McDonald's a lot. Um, The accusers testified that once they were in R. Kelly's circle, he groomed them for unwanted sex and psychological torment, mostly when they were teenagers, going back as far as the 1990s. There were accounts that were supported by other former R. Kelly employees who their, whose own testimony suggested that they were essentially paid off to look the other way. Uh, Robert Sylvester Kelly has pleaded not guilty to racketeering charges. He's also been charged with the uh, multiple violations of the Mann Act, which makes it illegal to transport anyone across state lines for Im- any immoral purpose. And if convicted, R. Kelly is looking at potentially decades in prison. In addition to these New York charges, he's also going to be facing, or he still faces, numerous counts of sexual assault uh, and abuse in Illinois and still has to stand trial for that as well. So Birdman says that after he struck a deal with Universal years ago, uh, just over 10 years ago, he hooked up Lil Wayne Drake and Nicki Minaj with a massive paydays. During an interview with Big Facts Podcast, Baby says that he gave Lil Wayne about, are you ready for this? Four to five hundred million dollars. He said he gave Drake about five hundred million and Nicki got about three to four hundred million out of his pocket. He said, you don't believe me? Ask them. Well, baby, I'm having a hard time believing this because the numbers just don't add up. Drake's net worth is 180 million today. Little Wayne's is 150 million and Nicki Minaj's is about 85 million. So what did they do with all those hundreds of millions of dollars years ago that you gave them? Um, and Birdman's net worth today is only 125 mil. So those are one of those things that make you go, hmm. Uh, Ludacris and Netflix, this is so fabulous, have teamed up for Karma's World, which uh, premieres next month. Karma's World is an animated series that was inspired by Ludacris's oldest daughter. It's about an inspiring musical artist and rapper with big talent and an even bigger heart whose mission is to change the world with her songwriting. And the series consists of 15 11-minute episodes that feature this lead character, Karma, beginning to grasp the incredible emotional power that words and music can have. And songs as well, focusing on issues like self-esteem, body positivity, discrimination, creativity, expressing emotion, friendship, family, leadership, celebrating differences, and more. And it's so fabulous. Ludacris and Tiffany Haddish voice characters on the show. Ludacris is also supervising the sound design, and he created the original music for the show. Karma's World is set to release on Netflix October 15th. Make sure you let your kids watch that.